Hey guys, so today we're going to be trying out two very affordable products that I've seen floating around but I wanted to test them for myself to see if they are amazing or complete flops. When the price tag is this low, sometimes you have to wonder. They are the Pro Fusion Royals palette which I picked up for $3 and change at Target and the Juno & Co Microfiber Velvet Sponge which I've seen floating all over the internet. So if you guys are curious to see if I think that these are flops or successes, then just keep watching. So the first thing we're going to be trying today is the Pro Fusion Royals eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. I picked this up at Target for $3 and change. I'll be honest, I was thinking how good can a $3 palette be, but having said that, Wet n Wilds are like, what, $5 and they're decent. Some e.l.f. products are like $5 to $10 and they're decent, so I figured I'd give this one a try, but not holding my breath, I've never tried Pro Fusion eyeshadows before. So the packaging is what caught my attention, honestly. These beautiful like gem tone shades, this holographic packaging, and it was $3. So let's dive in and start with some swatches and see what we think. And this is what the shadows look like inside. Whoa, that literally feels like butter. You see that shade? Let's try this yellow one. This one is intriguing me. Ooh, let's try the green. These are very soft and very easy to swatch. Let's try the blue because that's usually hard to do. Okay, taste the rainbow, right? Wow, that is metallic. Look at that shade. One swipe of gorgeous color. Are you guys seeing this? All right, so the matte's not as impressive, but these metallics, amazing. <laughs> Why haven't I tried Pro Fusion shadows sooner? Hmm, I've been missing out apparently. All right, let me prep my eyes with a little concealer and then we will get started. Okay, so the eyes are set, let's dive in. I'm gonna go in with my Miss Glam blending brush. It looks like this mint green. I think this came in like a, yeah, it says Ipsy bag. Precise blending brush, T35. And I'm going to go into Cryptic. Since there's only really two crease shades, I'll go into the orange one. Very pigmented. I'm going in with a little bit of this shade on the outer portion only. Then going with a flat brush, I am going to put Jade in the outer corner and then I'm going to put Zenith on the inner portion of the lid. That's very underwhelming. Let's try with a finger. These apply best with a finger. Let me try spraying the brush and see if that works. Oh yeah, that works really well. I'm going out with the same brush. I cleaned it off, spray it again, and I'm gonna go into Zenith on the inner portion of the lid. Look at that gold. Whew. And then I'm gonna go into the Midnight Black shade and kind of deepen up the outer portion.
Okay, so I like the way that looks. So, so far, so good. I'm just gonna spray it so that it doesn't move. Next, we're gonna try another affordable product that I'm not really sure if it's going to work or not. It is the Juno & Company Microfiber Velvet Sponge. These are about $5, I believe, um, or close to. So when you compare that with beauty blenders, like, what is it, $19 or $20? I don't know, is it gonna work? Isn't it gonna work? So we're gonna try this out. It says, it doesn't say anything, so let's open it up. It's fuzzy <laughs> for wet products, so we're gonna be doing foundation. Submerge your Juno underwater and squeeze out any excess liquid to begin. So that's what I suggest doing, we will do that. Apply a dime-sized amount of product on the back of your hand. Do not apply product directly onto your sponge as it will transfer too thick using a stippling motion dab and stipple product until you achieve your desired effect. Okay, so we're going to go dampen it. This is what it looks like before it is dampened. It has a flat side, the bottom is flat, and then the other sides are round. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've dampened it and wrung out the excess water, and it feels very different than like a beauty sponge. This is the Maybelline Face Studio, and I can press it pretty well in. This one is much denser, it feels a little heavier it feels like memory foam honestly it feels like my memory foam pillow and it makes noise versus no noise Okay, so if sounds bother you, you may not like the squishiness of this one. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a try. First, I'm gonna prime my face with my Maybelline Master Blur Stick, real quick. So this product just kind of blurs everything out so that I am ready for my foundation. I really liked this one the last time I used it, so I'm gonna try the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation in the shade Cashmere. It's a little bit light, but I'm quickly losing my summer color, so give this one a try. All right, so here's one pump on the back of my hand. Um, I guess I'll try the bottom. It does have a dot in it, like a little hole. I wonder if that will affect the way this goes on. Like I said, it is a bit more dense than I am used to. So it sounds like I am hammering my face. Okay, so one pump and I've already done my entire face. This definitely helps make your product go a lot further. I usually need like at least two pumps and uh, this is a light one pump and I still have product left. So let's see if we can build it up a little bit. Okay, so I like the way that it applies. It makes your product go a lot further. I'm not a big fan of the... I'm not a big fan of the noises that it makes, but if that doesn't bother you, this is a really good sponge so far for the price. Now let's see how it does with some concealer. I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral.
This time I'm going to use the flat side of the sponge. One thing I have to say is I feel like this has already dried out. Like it feels like dry velvet on the outside, but on the inside you can still feel the moisture. It just seems like it doesn't stay moist very long on the outside. But so far that hasn't caused any problems. Just an observation. Okay, so far it applied really well. The product went a lot farther. I did not need as much concealer as I put on. $5 sponge, definitely keeping up with the big boys, I have to say that. All right, let me finish off the face and then I'll be back to finish the eyes. Okay, so my face makeup is on. I ended up using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to set my face and bronze. I used the Physician's Formula Powder Palette Multicolored Blush in Blushing Natural and the LA Girl Luminous Glow Illuminating Powder on my cheeks and kind of like as a blush topper just for some extra glow. You guys have noticed this has been one of my go-tos lately. I've been using it a ton. All right, so now let's finish up the eyes. So I think I'm gonna go with the orange and the green on the lower lash line. This is a Bella and Bear marbled cap brush. and then the green. And then just a hint of black. I like the way it looks right now. I'm just gonna take my Alomar Cosmetics like, flat liner brush and smudge the black along the lash line. All right, so I'm gonna pop on some mascara and I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so here is the finished look using the Profusion Royals palette and my Juno & Co or Juno & Company sponge. I have to say that I am absolutely shocked by how much I like these really affordable products. So the metallics in this palette are stunning. You can see them on my lid, they're just metallic and reflective and beautiful. They were very easy to use. The mattes blended out really well. I used the orange, the red, and the black in today's look. Really stunning, really beautiful. So honestly, I am super impressed by this $3 palette that I picked up at Target. So if you guys see this one at your local Target store, pick it up. They had a few other palettes on the display as well. So I may go have to go back and find them because that was, that was such a success that I wanna get more. And this sponge, while, while the sound effects may not be pleasant for everyone, I like the way my makeup looks. I like my, the way the makeup applied with this sponge. It's very smooth. You can pat it or kind of drag the foundation if you have more of like a thicker foundation. So I am, I would say I'm shook, but that sounds really ridiculous coming out of my mouth, but I am shocked by how much I really enjoyed these two affordable products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.